file that I put out, the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. And I've got several here. Let me. Here it is right here. Recovery Quincy AT&T Clockwork Touch 6.tar. Okay? So as a dot tar, I'm going to click that, open it up, and it's going to open it up here into the PDA slot. So, so what I'm about to do is I'm about to flash a custom recovery to my phone. And this This will take just a second. So I'm going to push start. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> you can see my phone shows there on the computer that it passed. My phone is resetting at this point. Okay. And so we're good on that. Now I've got a custom recovery on my phone. So, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn my phone back off. So I'm just going to pull the batteries the quickest way to do it instead of waiting for it to boot up. <clears throat> okay, so the phone is completely off now and I'm going to boot up into my custom recovery. So the way I'm going to do that now is I'm going to push and hold volume up and down together. So volume up and down. While holding those two, I'm going to push the power button. So all three at the same time. Once I feel it vibrate, I can slide off the power button and I'm going to continue holding volume up and down. And it's going to bring me into my custom recovery in just a second. Okay. So you can see here now that we have this clockwork mod recovery 6.0.4.3. All right. First thing I want to do is. Uh, Wipe my uh, data factory reset. So I'm going to wipe all user data. Okay. And uh, actually, I should have said this before. Um, before you did the wipe data factory reset, you probably want to go to backup. And... Um, just do a backup real quick. It'll take four or five minutes. So go ahead and do that backup before you do the, the uh, factory reset. Okay, so um, I've did uh, wipe data factory reset. I'm going to go to, uh, and I'm going to wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache partition. Then I'm going to go to advanced, and then I'm going to go down and wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, then go back. Now, so what I want to do is we're going to install um, the two files that we put on our phone. So I'm going to go to uh, install zip, choose zip. Mine is on storage card zero. And it's going to be these two files right here that we had on there. So the SGH I717 UCL uh, F6 PS for pure stock. And then we're going to flash the T-Mobile radio. Okay. So first thing, let's flash this ROM. So I always forget I've got a touch version here, so I can just be clicking on here. So I'm going to install that. Yes, install. And now it's what it's going to do is it's going to flash this ROM for me. And uh, it'll take a few minutes for it to do this. So I'm going to probably pause the video and I'll pick back up once, once this finishes here. Okay, so you can see there it says install from SD card complete. Now, so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to choose zip from this SD card again. And this time, I'm going to flash this T-Mobile radio. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and yes, install that. We have to have this radio to be able to uh, to, to go through the uh, unlocking process. All right, install from SD card complete again there. Okay, so we're good. So now I can go back 
I can reboot system now. And uh, this is going to take a little bit to boot back up because I just flashed a new ROM to it. So it's going to have to go through a startup process. Um, so again, I'll pause, wait for that to all get booted up and we'll show you a couple things and then we'll go into the actual unlocking process. Okay. So uh, that did take a while. So don't get impatient with that. That probably took six or seven minutes for that to boot up there. Um, so that did take a while and it's still trying to work here. So I guess I should not rush it yet. Okay, so I want to show you in settings. So if we go to about phone, you can see this is exactly what we want. Android version is 4.04, .04. baseband version is unknown. It, because it's that, that strange T-Mobile version. Um, so th this is what we want. We've got the Android version we need. We've got the T-Mobile radio flash to it. And so now we're going to be able to go through our actual unlocking steps now. Um, okay, so, so what I'm going to do is turn the phone off again. Now this time with it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this T-Mobile SIM card. All right? So I've got that in there. Put my battery in. Okay, let's boot this up. Take a second here, and then it'll get us into um, get us into where it's asking for that that SIM unlock code. Okay, so you can see there inner network lock uh, control key. So again, it's saying the T-Mobile SIM you've got in here is not going to work. So we're going to dismiss this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my phone, and so what I'm going to enter is star pound one nine seven three two eight six four zero. And then now when I push pound, it's going to take me into kind of a diagnostic menu. So that's what we want right there into this service mode. So what I'm going to do is choose number one, debug screen. Then I'm going to choose eight, phone control. I'm going to choose five, simulation. I'm going to choose six network lock. And now here's where we're going to have to time this. Okay. Now the instructions say exactly 30 seconds. I don't, I think I've seen people saying it doesn't, you don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to do it as good as I could, as good as I can. Okay. So I've got my stopwatch here and we're, once we, we're going to press number three and once I press number three, I want it to be on for 30 seconds. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go over here. I forgot. I'm going to change in the settings real quick. I'm going to go change this to timeout. Not 30 seconds. I'm going to change that to 10 minutes just to avoid any kind of problems. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here. Star pound 197. Three two eight six four zero pound. Okay, so okay, so it, it it stayed where I was at there. All right, so I'm gonna push number three, and once I push number three, I want it to stay on there for about for thirty seconds. And it's what I'm gonna do is 
After I push that, once it gets to close to 30 seconds, I'm going to push the menu key, and then I'm going to push back. And once I push back, it's going to take me back to the network lock screen, and I'm going to choose the number four option. Okay? So I'm going to try to do this at the exact same time. I'm going to push number three and hit my stopwatch. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens. So, I want this to be the 30 seconds. Go back. Back again. Okay, then I'm going to choose number four. And then it says wait exactly one minute. All right, so I'm going to let that wait exactly one minute, and then I'm going to reboot my phone. And this is supposed to unlock it, and I'm pretty sure that's what it says there is successful. We'll see if it's unlocked. So I'm going to wait my one minute here. I'm going to reboot it, and then we'll see if we're unlocked. Hey, I'm going to reboot that. I know that's not exactly a minute, but got as close as I could. We'll see. Um, on all the, I read tons and tons of pages on XDA, and there was people who had to do this two or three times to, to get it right. So, you, you know, you may have to try this a couple times. I think, I think we got it there. We'll see what happens. Okay. There you go. It's not asking for any network unlock code. So apparently my AT&T Galaxy Note is now unlocked. Okay, and it's even showing a voicemail here. And that's definitely not my SIM card, so somebody's got a voicemail waiting. I guess I could call. I don't have their password, so I probably can't access it. But you can see there, and got service. Okay, so you're unlocked now. Now we flashed some stuff to there that you're going to have to have to go back and, and fix, but that's going to be fairly simple now. Um, so at the very beginning, um, on my AT&T... Like I said, I took this note down that I was on I-717 UCMD3, okay? I Googled that, and you can see on my computer that I Googled that I-717 UCMD3 and, and modem. And it came up with this right here, and I have this download link so that I can download that modem, okay? That one specifically. Um, and so it's what I would do is I would download this. I would put it on the internal memory of my phone and 
then I would go back into my uh, back into my clockwork mod recovery, and then I would flash this modem. Okay. Um, if you're on if you're on one of those Canadian carriers, um, I've got a link, and actually I'll put a link not just to this UC uh, UCMD D, UCMD three, but I'll have a link in the description to where there's more of these, and also put a link in here for this Canadian. Um, for this Canadian carriers for your modems, and this is the modems from the Jelly Bean ROM. So this is probably the newest modems that you have. And so you do the same thing. You can see here for Rogers, you would download this this dot zip, put it on the internal memory of your phone, turn your phone off, boot back into Clockwork Mod, flash this, and you're gonna have you're gonna have your um, your correct proper working modem now. Um, so also you flashed, um, we've also flashed a 4.0.4 .4 ROM to this and you're probably going to want to get something newer. And, um, I've got different videos that, that'll show you how to update to newer ROMs on your, on your Galaxy Note. And so you can go and look at those. In fact, I'll put a link in the description. Um, let me just go here on my computer. I'll show you real quick. It shows you how to update your Galaxy Note to 4.4 KitKat. And so you may want to use that to update to a newer version of, of Android. Okay? So your phone's unlocked. You're going to want to flash probably a new ROM to it and flash a new modem to it. So there you go. Hope, hope this helps. Um, hope that, that you can use this. I know there's probably some of the stuff at the end where I've just thrown this out at you, and I may have to make a video follow-up video to kind of give you those last steps uh, in video form. But for now, I know this is going to be long enough and it's going to be hard enough for me to stay under my two gigabyte limit. I know for sure with the amount of time I've spent on this video. So I may have to split this into two parts um, because I want to have the high quality. I have, high, uh, have this as HD, um, but I'm probably not going to be able to stay under that two gigabyte limit. So I'm probably going to have to split it in two parts. So anyways, thanks for watching today. Hope this helped.